All right, so today I'm going to be making some Italian meatballs. So I'm going to be using this Italian sausage. <laughs> Let me get that paper off there. Move this to the side. Paper sticking to my fingers. All right, so we got that. Oh, let me uh, wash my hands real quick so I can touch this stuff. All right, so first I'm going to do is add half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. Let me show you the container. So Italian style breadcrumbs. So that was one quarter cup and this makes half a cup. Alright. So again, you know, I didn't want to, after I touched the pork, I didn't want to touch my containers because like my breadcrumbs, I'm going to use that later. And, you know, I know in the news they're always talking about cross-contamination anymore. And <laughs> although most chefs have known about cross-contamination, you know, it's kind of a new word for some. But basically it means, you know, taking germs from one surface or from your hands and putting it on another surface. So, I should have measured that out, I'm sorry. But, I don't know. I guess I'm putting like three-fourths of a cup of tomato sauce in there. And then I'm going to put one egg. Alright, so it's kind of like making meatloaf in a way. Now you could put peppers and onions and other vegetables in here. I'm just kind of keeping it simple for today. Now usually I would use a glove to mix my meat. But since, uh, you know, PPE personal protection equipment is becoming a little bit harder to get <laughs> I'm foregoing my normal gloves and this is oh it's not really a sacrifice because people are really sacrificing for the health of others right now but <laughs> I am really not liking this so I don't like really touching raw hamburger or or you know raw meat ground meat with my hands like this I don't know it's just my thing everyone has their thing <laughs> all right so as you see I'm just mixing everything up bring it from the bottom putting it on the top and kind of mushing it down in there so everything kind of gets uh, mixed in so I'm getting it all over my sleeve. <laughs> I'm going to have to change after I get done here. That's kind of gross. <laughs> oh well. Alright, sometimes cooking does get messed up. It, or get messed up. Sometimes gets messy. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this onto a plate. Like so. All right, and there's a reason behind this. Because what I want to do is I kind of want to cut my meat into equal portions. So my meatballs are about the same. So some people will actually measure them out. And I guess I could do that, but I don't know. That's very time consuming. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a knife, and it doesn't have to be sharp, but I'm just going to start cutting this in half. And then cut the halves in half. So, is it going to be perfect? No, but guess what? It'll be close. Alright, and then 
and just start cutting this in half and making our meatballs. All right, so I have my skillet, it's dry, and I'm gonna bake these meatballs. All right, and my skillet is a little bit warm because I had dried it on the heat. So, let me go ahead and keep making these meatballs. All right, you don't want to pack them too tight. Just just gently roll them in your fingers or hands. I don't even know how many I'm making here. Let's see, I got four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-four. 12, 13, 14. Looks like I'm going to be making 16 meatballs. Go ahead and just oh that's not quite half there you go all right all right now that that's proportioned out we can go ahead I can go ahead and just do this this one is a little small so we'll keep that one to the side for now Maybe not. We'll just put them. And if we can add more meat to it, we will. All right. So you can see how quickly these meatballs come together. That one's shaped kind of like a heart. At least from the angle I'm looking at it. Okay. So, let's go ahead and move these to the pan. You don't quite want, you, you can put them close together, but you don't quite want them touching in the pan. All right. So, as I was drying this, I had left the, the heat on under this, so part of it is browned already, but that's okay. Alright, so a little tomato sauce, and then I'm going to put just a little bit of water so it's not so thick, and that will help it cook evenly. Alright, so I took one can, or one jar that it was pretty empty. I just put a little water in it and shook it up. So I'll just pour this over. All right, so I'm gonna put it in a 350 degree oven. Uh, it'll probably take, I guess about 20 to 30 minutes for these meatballs to cook. All right, so I'm gonna make sure they got a little space between them. Good. All right, let me put this in the oven. See you. All right, so I have a problem. I don't have spaghetti. All I have are these lasagna noodles. So I don't want to make lasagna, so I'm going to experiment. And what I'm going to do is just kind of break these up. So I think I'm going to do it one noodle at a time. Just kind of break them into pieces. <laughs> Let's see how this turns out. And then I'll put these in the boiling water. Oh, 
Wait, wait, okay, I'm gonna, I'm getting impatient, so I'm gonna break them up. Okay, I don't want them too small. All right, so let's try this. All right, so here are my meatballs. I actually had them in there like about 35 minutes, but they were at 350. And yeah, some of them are a little browner <laughs> than others. That's all right though. All right. So, let me go ahead and turn this a little bit, get them a little moist on all sides. So, as you can see, even though I put quite a bit of water in this, because it wasn't covered, this pasta sauce actually got a little thicker. Alright, so let's take a look at one of these puppies. Let me get a fork. So let's see what it looks like on the inside. Make sure they're done. Oh yeah, and they're they're fork tender. They cooked all the way through. See that? Being very gentle with it. Okay. All right. So let's take a bite. They're really hot. Mmm. pretty good it's a good meatball so hopefully my pasta will get done serve this up I want to put a side of um, asparagus on here mm -mm -mm. all right well thank you for watching chef Carter's cooking corner and I will see you next time make sure you wash those hands sanitize and all that good stuff stay safe y'all and stick around and watch more of my channel. I almost forgot. So here are the noodles that I kind of, you know, the lasagna noodles I kind of made makeshift for the pasta. I mean, it is pasta. A little different shaped. But, you know, here's mom's little bowl. Here's my little bowl. Alright, so I'm going to finish plating this up and get to eating. Alright, take care.